Okay folks, it's Don W6GPS and today I want to talk to you about a most exciting product new from Ham Radio Outlet, the Zumspot with attached 1.3 inch OLED screen. So here's what you get with this kit. You get you get the zoom spot right here and I cannot emphasize to you how important it is that you don't press on this glass window right here the, the, the screen you don't want to mess that up you get a Pi Zero you get a Pi Zero with a image a Pi Star image on there for setup so the case here's the name of the model of the case right here right here on the screen it's a very elegant case uh, to where you can mount this I highly suggest you mount all this before you program it so to protect the screen the uh, screen does have a uh, a protective backing here up here but it uh, you don't want to put any pressure on here so get the the correct case not to be confused with the uh, the pie the um, uh, 1.3 uh, OLED add-on this all comes all assembled uh, on the uh, zoom spot uh, uh, board here so it's already soldered there's no soldering uh, to get this put together so what I'm gonna do is is um, you wanna get your radio your favorite D-Star radio uh, have it in the DR mode and make sure that you set the correct frequency that you wanna use for a uh, low powered hotspot Make sure you don't interfere with the uh, satellites or any other services. So check your band allocation for uh, a correct uh, frequency. I just use uh, I use 433.100. Seems to work fine. Uh, so have that set on uh, the DR mode and uh, both ICOM and Kenwood radios. You want to program them those with a minus offset and Z a minus shift. Don't use uh, simplex use a minus shift with zero offset somehow the uh, Pi Star recognizes that so let's get all this thing together and you want to have a, a, a Wi-Fi connection and what I'm using is I'm using my uh, my uh, Verizon uh, mobile Wi-Fi and we'll get going but this is a very elegant I, I, I've had these uh, some spots uh, running uh, for days and uh, they don't drop out so anyway, that's, uh, that's our beginner right here, and we'll get started. Uh, so stand by, get you a cold one. It's not very difficult, folks. It's not very difficult. So what you're going to do now is I'm going to disconnect from my, my wireless network, and I'm going to scan. Now, folks, after you plug this in, you're going to see some activity going on with this little green light. When it dies, starts dying down and it's steady, then it's going to generate a... Um, Pi Star uh, web interface. This is how you're going to get to your uh, your Pi Star image. Now, <clears throat> it's taken maybe up to five minutes to get this, so be very patient. Uh, what I found out is sometimes you're going to have to kind of go in and out of the uh, in and out of the um, um, wireless uh, connection. And what happens is, is this little guy right here is a little wireless network, and it's going to transmit. And then we're going to log into it. Okay, so after a few minutes now, uh, this little guy is transmitting, and you can see here on the screen, Pi Star setup, no internet secured. That's just again, we're just talking to this guy right here. So what we do is go up to the uh, web browser, and we go uh, HTTP colon forward slash forward slash Pi Star hit enter and there you go no mode defined now we're going to configure it now remember I told you about told you about the radio you want to have it set for the frequency you want to have it set for the frequency uh, that you're going to be using with your uh, zoom spot so when we log when we log in here we go pi, pi star and then the, this is the default it's raspberry and then uh, hit OK. Now, now that it's opened up, it's opened up here. You can see these uh, different uh, setups. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to set up as much of this as much of this as we can uh, before we actually go uh, 
on the internet and then go to a reflector. So notice that the screen is not is not um, active right now and that's because we have to do a few things to set up. So right here I'm going to put my call W6 GPS and the frequency that I'm going to use uh, for this is 433.100 uh, I'm going to put my latitude, this is approximately, and longitude, and back up. And I'm going to put my city in here. And USA. Okay, I'm going to select auto right here, and what it's going to do is when it reboots, uh, it's going to automatically point me to... Uh, uh, qrz.com my my page so people can look up look uh, look me up now this is real important you go in here and you're gonna select uh, some spot some spot raspberry pi gpio you can select that uh, the node type I'm gonna put public that way people can use it like at a ham fest or whatever time zone uh, you can pick your time zone it's uh, uh, for me it's uh, America New York and dashboard language is uh, I'll use English and we go through here and we just check everything else we're not gonna we're not gonna set up the uh, Wi-Fi uh, you know for the internet yet so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and apply changes now this is gonna go to like another setup window nothing's going on with the zoom spot it is booting up you can and there's like this is like a soft boot so the light may twi uh, twinkle a little bit move around now this may take a minute or two for it to uh, now once you see that <clears throat> once you see that MMDVM that's because we've we've got part one set up the screen's gonna change it says that the modem has been updated now we're gonna go to another setup window now I can't emphasize how important it is just to set up one radio mode initially. Don't set them all up. Just set up one to get things going. I'm just using D-Star, so I select D-Star, and I'm verifying that the uh, OLED is set, and I'm using the G4KLX, which is the default. Uh, I'm going down here. I'm checking all my settings that I want. Here's my call, the frequency, the Chattanooga. Oh, and it, see, it says my uh, my QRZ right here. So then I go back up here. Now it, it will do this a couple times to where it will not show you what the the zoom spot is. So that's why you have to go back here and reset it. It's kind of lost here with all these different di different devices. So it's zoom spot Raspberry Pi hat, and that's the same for like a Raspberry Three if you're using the same thing. So I hit that there and I apply changes. <clears throat> now the word close comes up means the um, the um, Pi Zero is uh, rebooting. This is a soft reboot. We got our radio turned up here and we're going to see if something happens. Again MMDVN comes up. Something comes up it's rebooting now remember we're not on the internet we're basically still on the Pi Star web interface to program it so it's basically this is talking to the computer okay now that that's all done we got here um, uh, D Star configuration so we're going to come down here I'm going to set for for test purposes is I'm going to go ahead and set this to 30 alpha uh, 30 Charlie is a popular one but uh, there may be some activity going on uh, and I don't want to uh, interfere with them while I'm setting this up so you got your XRFs you got your DCS uh, so I'm going to set it to reflector 30 30 alpha for right now it's probably a good idea you do 30 alpha for right now just to get things going and again again uh, um, we're, we're just 
test doing we're just setting up so we're kind of in the setup mode uh, I turn time announcements off and you do want to turn uh, uh, D plus for XRF and uh, you want to apply changes now make sure you got your radio handy make sure you got it turned up because what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little quick test here so now that um, that reflector that we set, that's a default reflector. So if you lose power, it's always going to go to that default reflector. Now I choose 30 Char I choose 30 Charlie. Some people choose uh, one Charlie. And maybe you just have one that's uh, favorite for your area. So now this is rebooting. Uh, MMDVM has come back up. Now, now before we, we get going any farther, before we get going any farther, uh, we just want to go ahead and take our radio, take our radio right here, and just do a quick key. And here, it says address unknown. That's because that's because we're we're not on the internet right now. And but it, the radio is talking to the zone spot. There's my call on CQ, but nothing's nothing's uh, completely set up. So now here is where we want to set up our um, our um, Wi-Fi. Uh, configure our Wi-Fi so we hit the configure button we go scan for networks and what it's looking for it's looking for my mobile hotspot right here and this may take a few this may take a few minutes so be patient so there it is right here here's this is my um, my um, hotspot my my mobile Wi-Fi connection now there's no 5 megahertz in here so you're only going to be able to work in the uh, 2.4 gigahertz uh, correction 2.4 gigahertz there's not a 5 gigahertz uh, um, Wi-Fi on this uh, uh, Pi star or not Pi star but um, Pi zero so you're gonna select I'm selecting mine is W6 GPS HS for hotspot I select it and then I put in the uh, password here And it's Outbacker7842. And you're going to do save and connect. I uh, don't want to save the passwords for this, but you want to make sure you hit save and connect real good. Okay, now, this is where, if everything's working right, we're going to do a, a, a hard reboot by going to the power button up here, panel up here, and there's a thing called reboot. Now this may take four or five minutes, so if everything's working right, uh, you'll you'll know because the radio is going to make a an announcement. So I hit reboot. The uh, MMDVM it has said close, so that means it's rebooting. I've got my radio standing by here, and uh, if everything works out right here in a minute or two. Uh, we did everything correctly and it's real real easy setup folks real easy setup and while this is rebooting uh, I cannot emphasize how important it is to update the firmware the Pi Star image all the software and that's on my YouTube channel uh, W6GPS just put that in the search window and there is a, a section on uh, updating firmware for a Pi, Pi Star Raspberry uh, uh, Zum spots or whatever but there's a section on how to do that, and I'm not going to take time to sh on this video to do it. Now, what has happened was is the screen has disappeared, and it says I'm not connected. That's because I was on the Pi Star uh, interface. So now what I need to do is go back here, and I'm going to go back to my my uh, mobile hotspot and go ahead and connect to that, and uh, it's uh, setting up here. So in the meantime, we're still we're still thinking. This is still thinking here. A lot of things that we've programmed. So this thing's still stink, thinking. And uh, as soon as it, okay, there you are, right there. And there you go. Now, if you've done everything right. When it says the uh, uh, link to REF, that means it's linked. And also you can notice, here's your IP address. And what I can do is I can go up here to the um, 
uh, explore bar here and I could put 192.168.1.11 and this will get me right back into Pi-Star. This way what I can do is I can go in here and I can reprogram it. Uh, I can go up here, you have to log back in, Pi Star Raspberry Raspberry, it's the default. You could change that, but that's another video. Very, very easy set. And what you want to do up here is look at the dashboard, and that's real, that date's really off right here. And uh, so, what you want to do, again, I have a video on this, so, but I'll just do a quick update just to show you what it looks like for one section. And it's moving through, and it's uh, stopping the services, and it's doing an update. I cannot emphasize, folks, how important it is that you get the firmware all update, all ready to go. So go to my uh, go to my uh, YouTube channel. Just put W6 GPS in the uh, search window, or uh, you can send me an email at w6gps at yahoo.com, and I'll be more than happy to help you.